Uh, hello. I've reloaded the game, but I, it was only yesterday that I did the previous episode, but I can't remember what I was doing. So, I guess I'm just going to wander around. It appears that we haven't done half of this stuff yet. Um, we can press this button now. So that's fine. Which means we can still get out here. Grab that. Where did that thing end? Is it in the corner? Yes. Good. Then we can kill these things. Maybe we should chainsaw them? That sounds fun. Ow! Good job. Do you think these things will fight one another? Or do you think they will only sort of interfaction fight? You know what? Probably shouldn't be doing this. When there's two things that are capable of shooting me, I should not be meleeing them both. <laughs> I can only melee one of them at a time. Okay, there we go. There's another one, right? There is not. However, door. Ouch. These things definitely want to have a chain gun used on them, if not a chain sword. Just use the chain gun on it. Hack it. I'm done. Done this enough times that I am somewhat fed up <laughs> of, of repeating myself over and over again. Right, so we know that there's going to be a cyber demon when we finish all this nonsense off, and we can use this opportunity now to jump off the air. And we want to be in there. So we've opened the... Um, we've opened the thing that blocks us from continuing through there. So we've, we've done things in the right order so far. Oop. I mean, those things don't really stand much chance against the noise. Probably a little bit of a waste of ammo. But uh, at this stage, I am very much in favour of getting rid of as much stuff as I can. With as little hassle as I can. I believe that's the corridor that... We went down in the previous episode when I sort of gave up and decided to come back to it. So maybe we, uh, maybe it's not entirely necessary for us to beat them up, but beat them up I did. So let's see if we can, um, you know, those things are completely deaf. Uh, they don't wake up from all the noise that you're making out here. So they obviously wake up from seeing you, which means... We can somewhat control the way this works, basically by only waking them up, on a, you know, when we want to, or we can try to anyway. So there's some teleporting going on, which doesn't fill me with happy feelings. There's a lot of knockback on cacodemons themselves, I can't help but notice. Um, there's the other one, right. Which makes them somewhat difficult to deal with when you've got... Uh, a weapon that reduces inaccuracy as you go along. Where's that thing again? I'm fairly sure that imp there simply teleports because it's over here somewhere. Like the first thing it does is walk on that teleporter down there, which we know. Ooh. Holy crap. That hurt. Okay, so there's actually a, an enemy teleporter over there which does that to us. But on the plus side, we did get um, got them to fight one another. Somehow. That hurts, so probably try not to do that quite so much. So we want to get that. We want to get them. Grab. Okay, good. We know that there is a... Um, red door we can't deal with yet here. There's a second one of those. That's fine. We might as well get rid of this thing and the other losers stuck up there. Well, we still can. And there's another radiation shield in here, so if we really need to, we can jump back in. Uh, we're going to open this. Excuse me. The fact that you didn't actually have uh, a dead made me sad. And then we can jump on here, which is also scary. Okay. We're basically most of the way there. Now, we know that this is going to open up into a cyber demon, which means that we want to deal with this ASAP, really. I mean, it seems like the fastest way of dealing with them is to chainsaw them. And we know... <laughs> okay. When we come out of here, the plan is to run over there, open that, and then get on the far side where the... Um, where the Baron of Hell was in the first place. So this opens something. We should find out what. Here's that giant door. Okay. We should get rid of everything that we can get rid of trivially, i.e. the 
this bugger. As we know, the splash damage from the Cyber Demon is going to be extremely uh, unfriendly to us. So we'll get rid of that. We know that rockets, by the way, are bad against the Cyber Demon, but at the same time, I don't really know what else we can use that will like give us the... I wonder what that is opening right now. It's taken a long time to do so. Oh! I didn't realize that, that would happen. That's also interesting. So now we can sort of get between these quite happily. That's new, but also great. It means we don't have to spend any HP trying to get over here, maybe. Like if we hide here for a while. Can attempt to save scum up here as well. Like we can probably deal with these lot. Just by pumping rockets over there and running every time we see it look at you. I don't know, only some of these really have to land. It's not like I'm really aiming or hoping for the best, but at the same time, we do need some of them to actually land because the splash damage will do nothing. So it, it's, to a certain extent, we're just hoping that the Cyber Demon walks in front of our rockets. It's not like we can get in there and just telefrag it. The only teleport that takes us over there will not hit it as far as I'm aware. So we have to sort of coax it into firing at us and try and hit it with as many rockets as we can while it does that. Is it dead now? It's got a lot of HP. I mean, I don't know why they would do this uh, anti-splash damage joke, because why don't you just give it more HP, you know? Instead of using a trick to make it seem like it has more HP, just make it have more HP. We could do this. Because when, when it fires at us, we have some chance of uh, hitting it with some plasma thingies because it's standing still enough. But the plasma things have such a, a long travel time that I don't want to waste all my ammo. Just... Oh! That was a great shot. I'm not sure I'd even notice if it died. Especially if it didn't die in sight. This is pesky, I'll be honest. That was a very lucky shot. Oh, oh, that sounds like it dying. That's one of those, uh... Yeah, okay. It actually dies with a full world sound, so you can basically assume that you can hear it. Uh, okay. I should save scum again. So I will. <laughs> um, because I'm sick of doing that. That was my fourth or fifth attempt. Probably a fourth or fifth attempt just today. So we have now the red key. The red key allows us to get to the red door. The red door is where? I also want to get through there. The red door is back through there. Okay, I remember. So we have to go this way. It's going to hurt. I don't think there's any other... Um... <coughs> radiation suit except for that one. So... That was correct. In. Well, I was going to say Kakadu too. There is actually another radiation suit in here, so that's pretty good. It means we can finish off the level because, of course, there's that one part of the level that we avoided at the start that we kept doing the first time around, um, which this time we elected not to. So this takes us up here where the baddies were. This is presumably the exit, which is why... We had to do it. Yes, that is the exit. So we've got full cells now, which is cool. Uh, and we can also go this way now. Take this teleporter into there. Probably pick up the final radiation suit to count as um, one more item. If they're counting. Invulnerability. <laughs> Also that item, which I've forgotten about. Uh, which is opened by the, either the red or yellow door, so it has to be the last thing that you do. Uh, worth picking up just for shits. I can go in here. Probably should go back to get that. I just want to do it, just for the sake of having done it. Make sure that we don't get any penalties for forgetting things. Take that. Good, good, good. Take that. 
go this way. The fact that there's two teleporters up here seems a little bit strange, but I mean, okay. We should pick these up because we used our BFG for shits. Uh, and we have finally done it. We are the best. That was another long episode, but um, 98% kills. I must have missed something walking around somewhere. Uh, if there is like a... If I did some cuts, then we're going to want a l little bit of a longer episode this time, so happy to keep going. Also, I'm not quite as terrified this time as I was last time uh, from having done it. It's a weird sort of terror. It's the sort of terror where it's getting to you, you know? It's, um, it's an old game, and it's not particularly scary in, in the way that it used to be, I suppose, where you never knew what was right in the next corner, and... All the jump scares and the twitch shooting and stuff was a lot more difficult with the uh, original style of gameplay and therefore uh, of control and therefore the game. I, I guess a lot of the the a lot of the game is based on the way that you originally would have played it. So a lot of the jump scares and things like that would be because it's hard to react quickly to a lot of the things that are happening in the game. Uh, which don't really count right now, but I still found the previous level very, very difficult. To the point where it wasn't necessarily... I don't want to say that I got so frustrated that I got pissed off and rage quit, but knowing that I have to keep facing these challenges over and over again, and I wasn't really doing much better each time, was a strange form of um, strange form of scaredness. I was afraid of doing it again. I was afraid of failing again. I was also getting a little bit worn down by the number of times I tried it. You know, it was besting me, I guess. Which is I interesting to think about to some extent because wow. Okay, that was as hundred percent speed opening lifting. Where did you go? I don't like that. Basically, you're going to check that it didn't turn up out here somewhere. Um, no, it's fine. If you want to teleport like that, I'm perfectly okay with it. Because you're no longer with me. Whoa! Excuse me. Oh, there you are. So it did turn up out here somewhere. Or maybe it just made its way out here anyway. Look how much knockback there is. They must have really slow um, acceleration. I mean, they don't move very fast. We know that much. Should have let them fight each other. I understand. I just thought it was a bit of an intellectual exercise to consider that even though all of the original reasons why this game was hard probably don't really apply anymore, I still found that I wanted to stop playing and do something else for a while. Much like it was the same sort of feeling that I got in like playing Doom 3 with the lights off in the dark at night. You know, it, it wasn't making me you know want to never play video games again it wasn't making me want to hide behind the sofa but it wasn't making me want to turn the lights back on even though the lights were on when I played this doom last time um, so I wonder where that teleport would going to take us because I know that wherever that teleport takes us there's going to be a fucking cacodemon because one of them went through the teleport what did I just pick up Okay, and I'm still using the, uh, still using the, um, shotgun here. I need a blue key to open this door. It, it is a door. And I can open it with a blue key. I guess we open this. Hello? Yellow key. Am I supposed to remember this? Because it ain't going to happen. All right, let's jump in. All oh, right, okay. So the reason that Kakadim was still around is... Exactly that. Yep, yeah, fine. I'm okay with this. Hurry up, though. I'll stop trying to um, wax lyrical on something that I'm having trouble explaining. I do find that playing this game makes me very, you know, clumsy with the way I'm speaking. I think that's okay, though. This brought us back up here. I mean, even that is a very silly thing to say. This has brought us back up here. Thanks, Sherlock. 
really useful piece of commentary there. Now we're doing a thing. Ah! <laughs> oh dear. That's going to be a peak on the waveforms. It's going to interfere with my compressor. Oh, what a... Okay, I'm... You got me. I'm okay with it, though. Yep, yeah, that does not look like poison. So that one. I play with light quite interestingly in this game as well. If you recall in the very first episode, well, the very... Yeah, episode in terms of uh, Doom, not in terms of the series and not the, the very first level, I don't think. Um, they... There was a bit where the lights just turned off when you picked up the key. Trap. Yeah. <laughs> Fun trap, though. Fall. Ow. Actually got me. Couldn't get me. Still got full health. So I'm finding that the BFG, because of the mechanics that I now don't necessarily understand but have seen, um, explained to me, is way less useful than I originally thought it was. And I still really, really like the Quake 2 one, which we have yet to actually view, because we haven't played Quake 2 on the channel yet, which I might do. Uh, let me know if that sounds cool. Um, which sent out these beams of lights that tracked all the enemies that it went past as it went past them. I thought it was super cool. Uh, and I think a lot of the reason I like Quake 2's BFG is that it was so new at the time. Uh, that it, you know, it left an impression. Maybe it's not as amazing as I'm making out. Who are you making out with? Yeah, very funny. It's just like going in there and making them all wake up. Uh, but I think it was still cool for the time. It was cool for the the way it worked, the way they... The imaginations of the, of the peoples that did the things. There's a red key, which must be this door. Uh, so I don't necessarily need to go through there. There's a crusher. I need some rockets. So uh, I'm looking forward to replaying some of these old games. Might not play Quake. I didn't really think that Quake had it all going for it. Uh, I remember there was a lot of criticisms that the whole game was brown. Which is very, um, very fair criticism. I mean, this game's fairly brown, but you can see all the colours are shiny. It's not the same consistent brown um, that sort of characterised Quake level design. I'm very concerned about the... Uh, Symbolism in this game, this particular episode of this particular game, because that silver teleporter has hitherto men not just exit, but usually secret exit, at least in the uh, original episodes of Doom. Silver teleporter was at least exit, if not sil secret exit. I, d I don't even remember if it was actually secret exit consistently, but now that's all been turned on its head. Sometimes it means just a teleporter with which I am not chuffed. Is it one of those situations where in original Doom you'd have to uh, jump down there and find out for yourself? You can see that a lot of the designs of levels and the, the monsters themselves are highly influenced by the actual limitations of the game, of the engine, which makes sense. That's, as Northern Lion likes to say, limitation breeds creativity. Take that. So we don't actually open those there, but they are opened by the red key somehow. Oh, that was a great shot, actually. Can't even be mad. Lots of radiation suits, so we're supposed to do this to a considerable degree, rather than just a little bit. Poison, you great. Thank you for the heads up. Got all the things. Full of cells. Maybe we should have used a few more here and there. Not quite sure how to get over here then, because obviously this takes us out that way. And that requires the red door to be opened, which means we need to find the red button, I guess. 
Let's um, open this before we dive in poison. Yep. Still got plenty of health and armor, which is remarkable because of how badly I just did on that whole situation just now. Let's just press things and see what happens. I also find, I still find it very commendable how they've done all this with essentially a two-dimensional engine. So we need to find somewhere we've not been. The only thing I can think of which is a place we've not been is the, um, is that a teleport? Oh, the teleporters I don't want to mess with. Oh, it is a teleporter, but it takes us back to where we were. I.e. here. These ones, which does not say exit. I'm going to save it in case it is. It's not. Thank you for disappearing, although please don't come back. I can hear sounds. Oh, it's outside. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. What do we do here? I want to turn the flashlight on. I've got a yellow key all of a sudden. Don't know how I deserve that, but okay. I must have been on that pedestal and I didn't notice because I was too busy panicking. So that when I walked into it... That's obviously a trap. I'm not that silly. I wouldn't mind small bullets, actually, so this is pretty good timing. Shotgun ammo is keeping itself alive because of how we keep killing things that have them. Okie dokie. Perfect. Loving it. Let's go through here. That's up there. Fine. Well. I guess we uh, get the BFT out, considering it's here. Oh, the trapped us in. That's very mean. They didn't trap us in. It turns off again. What it does? There is something behind there. Very good. I understand. Come on then. Yep, that was fun. Um, <laughs> that was very cathartic. I'll be honest. So there's also a thing in this direction. It's full of things. To open. Don't know why those... I don't know why those buttons elected to open these doors permanently. And also I'm not sure which... Uh, I'm not sure which... Button is going to open those... Um... There's barriers down there. I mean, it may have already happened. I don't think there's any way to tell if those are now non-blocking. There's plenty of these to find out from. No, it's not. Interesting. So the only way out of here is through here. This is a very long episode, by the way. I apologise for the length of it. But this might be a good time for me to go off camera and see if I can figure out how to get up into that area. Uh, and I will come back in the next episode with the answer for you. But until then, as usual, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes that you give the videos, because it means that you like the videos, I hope. Otherwise, you're just pandering to me, and I don't appreciate that. Uh, and I appreciate when you subscribe and your friends subscribe and all that sort of thing, uh, because we don't do this for cash. We do this for the fun. Um, we don't monetize these videos, basically. So, yeah. The more people that watch, the better we feel like we're doing. Don't forget, James and Ed will be uploading content. Go and check that out too. Uh, remember to suggest other games you might want us to play and things like that. But until the next episode, thank you for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope that when we come back, I will have figured out what the hell I'm doing. I'll see you then. It's okay, friends. I discovered that, in fact, uh, you do open the door. By pressing it. Um, please leave me alone, though. So, that's fun. Yeah, I, it, I guess I just completely failed to actually press the line that was the line for the thing. Still don't know how to get over there, though. I, I must have just missed the columns when I tried to open the door. Um, quite how you get over there. I guess this. 
That's interesting. That's actually two sides. But it's not a real switch. I think the actual switch is that line there. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Uh, so I noticed that there was a red switch over here, you see, in the middle. So I'm guessing that... That is a, another red door type thing. These crushers are full of blood. It's pretty gross. So that will probably be the end of the level. So, again, thank you for watching the episode. A little PS postscriptum. Not postpartum for that one. That's the end of that level. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.